at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto with the award-winning writer Paul Bellini. Hi, Katie. Hi, welcome. What inspired you to become a writer? Oh, I think it was that desire to reorder the world. Even as a child, you think, I could do better. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and when you're writing, you, you imagine characters and you have them do things and it's whatever you want them to do. And, I'm power mad. That's what it really comes from. Great. Yeah. And how did you get into writing? Uh, well, my aunt was a librarian when I grew up in Timmins, mm -hmm. and she always gave me a lot of books, and she encouraged me to write. My parents were very supportive, and from when I was a child, I loved writing short stories and poems, and um, then I had a column when I was in high school in the daily newspaper, so I thought I was a real big cheese, because they actually paid me to do that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I just, it was just something I always felt I could do, mm -hmm. that it felt very natural and second nature to me. And what was your column about in high school? Uh, basketball games okay. and theater arts <laughs> and bake sales, you know, it was just like that kind of stuff. It was, it was not very comedic. Absolutely. And what was your experience like writing on The Kids in the Hall and This Hour Has 22 Minutes, which you've been nominated and won many awards for? Well, you know, on those shows, uh, you're writing in a room full of very talented people. I mean, on Kids in the Hall, there was, at, at one point, 11 of us, and we're talking about some of the most talented people in this country. So you have to hold your own. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to constantly bring ideas to the table. And you can't let it get to you if your stuff doesn't work, because uh, so much comedy writing is attached to your ego, and you, you can be very frail. Like, if it doesn't work, people aren't laughing. It can crush you. So you have to develop a thick skin and uh, just enjoy what works, mm -hmm. you know? And what's the atmosphere like in a writing room? Is it kind of competitive or is it fun? What does it feel like? It's both. Uh, it's, there's a slight bit of mean-spiritedness that okay. always comes with comedy. And, uh, but, but ultimately, you're all there to do a show. Mm -hmm. And the show comes first. And everybody wants to do their best. And everybody wants to get something good in the show mm -hmm. to make it better. So. Um, you make each other laugh. That's the main thing. Awesome. Yeah. And a few years back now, you made a documentary about your life and how Shania Twain kind of, <laughs> yeah. you know, outshined you a little bit in Timmins. Thanks a lot, Shania. Um, tell me a little <laughs> bit about that experience and what it was like to well, do a documentary. <laughs> when, I, when I first started Kids in the Hall, they put me in a towel mm -hmm. and made me walk around, and I became the, the towel guy, this character on the show. And I was very proud of myself. Um, and I thought I was the biggest thing to come out of Timmins in a non-hockey playing capacity, because uh, obviously we have a lot of big hockey players coming from there. Um, and for years, I was the star. And then all of a sudden, Shania Twain released this record, uh, the first one, of The Woman and Me, which I think sold 10 or 12 million copies. And I knew it was over at that minute, because <laughs> the newspaper bumped me to the back, and it was all about Shania, Shania, Shania. And tell me a little bit about this book here, The Fab Columns, and what exciting columns that we can expect to find inside of it. Well, I've been writing for Fab Magazine for 10 years now, and I always wanted to take my columns and put them in one big book, which is what I did. And a lot of it is just gay community stuff, but a lot of it is also uh, interviewing celebrities, attending events. Uh, it's a social column, so it's whatever I get involved in and set out to do. Okay. And having done all these diverse experiences, what have you learned through being a columnist? And is there anything that's kind of surprised you over the years? Uh, what I learned was don't drink too much, <laughs> because that could ruin the, all the goodwill. Uh, it's great, because when, you, when you're in the press, and a lot, I'm lucky because I've had a career that went on both sides. I was a performer and a writer, and I'm also a person who covers writers and performers. And I realized, wow, the press gets a lot of free stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is free booze. And the worst thing you can do is, is leave a place drunk, because everybody notices. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about this fabulous jacket oh, you're wearing Oh, my right jacket. Now. <laughs> well, as you know, it's such a gray day outside. It's rainy, and it's bleak. And I wanted to wear as much color as possible today. So I got out the shiny blue tie and the pink shirt I got from Galleria Mall. And the jacket was made for me by uh, Theatrix Costume House, and they made it for uh, Halloween. And I, they said to me, 
any costume you want. And I said, I would like to look like Elvis on his greatest hits album where he's wearing a solid gold suit. <laughs> so they made me a solid gold suit awesome. and, and gave it to me. I thought that's, that's worth about a grand. And uh, so now I, I have to wear it every possible opportunity to show it off. So. And was it a big hit on Halloween? Yeah, I hosted a big event um, called the Spectra Talent Contest. Uh -huh. and. Um, I was outside, and of course, you know, Halloween night was horrible weather itself. It rained that night, mm -hmm. and um, it didn't matter. The the, sh the suit just shone through the rain. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and your book and your projects online? Um, we've started, a, a friend of mine started a new website for me called Poke Me and Die, which is a reference to what I used to do in the kids in the hall when I would wear the towel. You were supposed to poke me in the belly. Uh, so uh, the, it's I, I guess the website is just look up poke me and die, and it's got um, a lot of information about what I'm doing now. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Paul. Congratulations on Thank all you. of your success and best of luck with your upcoming projects. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chaff here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto.